the longest rivers in the world. I'm sure you must have enjoyed an amazing river trip. But have you ever wondered how large a river can be? Watch this video and be amazed by how great a trip you could make on its waters. Number 10. Amu River This waterway, also known as the Black Dragon River, is one of the longest rivers in Asia. It flows from southeastern Russia to northwestern China, and it is the border between these two huge countries. The river is 1,755 miles long, but if you include the length of its sources, then the Amu River extends 2,760 miles. The length of this river isn't the only intimidating and interesting thing about it, but it's also the fact that the scary Kaluga sturgeon lives on its waters. This is the world's largest freshwater fish, so I suggest not going deep into its waters unless you want to have a bad scare. Nowadays, this river continues to be a means for trade between two great powers, ensuring stability to the country. Number 9. Congo River For the next river, I'm going to take you to the heart of Africa. This enormous river is also famous for being the deepest river in the world at 720 feet deep. It extends over most of the Congo since it's 2,920 miles long. Also, this waterway is one of the world's mighty rivers, and oddly enough, it is the only river to cross the equator line twice. This gorgeous African watercourse rises in the mountains of the Great Rift Valley's eastern Africa, and it drains into the Atlantic Ocean around the small town of Mwanda. Traveling through this river is essential to the African trade, whose cargo goes from the Boma port to the rest of the Congo. Number 8. Rio de la Plata now we move to the land of the tango. That's right, Argentina, where the Rio de la Plata takes 8th place for being 3,030 miles long. This river is the second widest basin in South America, and it's also the border between Argentina and Uruguay. This river collects the waters from the Parana, Paraguay, and Uruguay rivers, as well as from different wetlands such as the Berra wetlands and the Bañado de la Estrella. In this river, which has extensive fauna, you can find the La Plata dolphins, as well as three sea turtle species, green sea turtle, loggerhead sea turtle, and leatherback sea turtle. No doubt, this river is home to several tender animals, such as these ones that give you a pleasant swimming experience. Number 7. Ob River Going back to the cold mother Russia, you will find the Ob River here, which is 3,360 miles long. This river of great length flows along western Siberia. You know, that place painted white when it snows and it's full of dense forests and dangerous animals. Inhabitants make use of the river for consumption, irrigation, and fishing. In addition, there are over 50 fish species on this river. The Ob River was vital to this country since they used this river for sailing and transportation, connecting eastern to western Russia long before the Trans-Siberian Railway was built. Sadly, the contamination generated by the nuclear facility, Mayak, has affected the beauty of this river because this plant discharges vast amounts of radioactive water into the river and nearby lakes. Number 6. Yellow River If you thought we were far enough, now we're going much further east towards distant China where it's located the Yellow River. And no, it has nothing to do with the Simpsons. This is the second longest river of the Asian giant, extending 3,395 miles. Ancient China was originated in its basin, and that region was the most prosperous one during the early history of the Asian country. What's more, it was formerly believed that the waters of this river coming down from the Milky Way. Unbelievable! Despite having such an incredible history, nowadays this river is greatly contaminated. According to the studies, the third part of this river is unusable for industry or agriculture. Number 5. Yenisei River This is the longest river draining to the Arctic Ocean, as it extends 3,445 miles. The Yenisei River splits the entire West Siberian Plain, and it is 80 feet deep at most. This river, which crosses thick Siberian forests, is home to 55 native fish species such as the Siberian sculpin. This waterway was fundamental to the communication in Imperial Russia, as in the case of Siberia that was isolated from the rest of Russia. 
However, the wonderful waters of this river have been recently affected by the radioactive wastes generated by a plutonium plant. Number 4. Mississippi River The Mississippi River is such a symbol in the United States and has a length of 3,902 miles that splits most of the country. This river is part of the popular culture and it's even used to count. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. <laughs> The waters of about 32 states and two Canadian provinces between the Rocky Mountains and the Appalachian Mountains flow into this river. The Mississippi River crosses, or it's the border of states such as Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Louisiana. This proves how large the river can be. It also has a historical background as a reference point during the expansion period from east to west under the concept of Manifest Destiny. This was something important because it resulted in creating the national borders of the United States. The regions around this river are the most fertile in the whole USA. However, since the 20th century, the levels of contamination from agriculture chemicals of the Mississippi River have been increasing. Number 3. Yangtze River we go back to the Kung Fu Panda lands. Master Shifu, what do we got? Pirates? Here you'll find the Yangtze River, which is 3,917 miles long and supplies about a third of China's population. For thousands of years, this river has been used for irrigation, transportation, industry, and war. The Yangtze Delta provides the necessary to generate up to 20% of the total production of goods in China. There are plenty of ecosystems through this river where the diverse fauna of the Asian country lives, such as the Chinese alligator, Yangtze sturgeon, and almost extinct Yangtze River dolphin. In recent years, as happens with other parts of China, this river has been highly contaminated by the agriculture and plastic industry. Plus, great parts of lakes and wetlands are no longer possible to use. Luckily, large sections that are nature reserves have also been created on the Yangtze River. This is great because, thanks to those areas, the splendid nature can still live on this beautiful river. Awesome! Number 2. Amazon River This is the longest river in the South American continent, as it is 4,086 miles long. Also, it is the mightiest one, so it's quite difficult to travel through its waters. The Amazon River goes along a massive green land full of leafy trees, and it holds more water than the Nile, Yangtze, and Mississippi combined. It's so massive that it's about one-fifth of the world's fresh water. Wow! A characteristic species of this river is the Amazon River Dolphin, but there are also other animals and plant life which are exclusive of this region, such as the Jaguar and the Victoria Amazonica that is a plant having a length of up to 16.4 feet long. Definitely, this river is full of surprises that would catch anyone's attention, but you'd better keep swimming carefully. If you believe those rivers were huge, now you'll see the world's longest navigable river. Number 1. Nile River Exactly, that huge and large river is the Nile, and it is the longest river on the planet. It surely holds that title because it has a length of 4,130 miles. This river is so long that it flows through African countries such as Burundi, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, South Sudan, Sudan, Egypt, and Ethiopia, and it drains into the Mediterranean Sea. This river is very important since most of the people in Egypt, except for those cities near an oasis, are gathered along the Nile Valley. There are plenty of predators living on this river, and the best known and most iconic one is the Nile Crocodile which is 19.6 feet long and holds the record for the longest in the world. This animal is big enough to eat any human. Although this river is surrounded by green and fertile areas, the droughts have been a great problem for the Nile. In fact, this event has affected over 170 million people during the last century, and half a million people died as a consequence. The Nile River is such a symbol of ancient Egypt, and today it continues to fulfill the same role as it did hundreds of years ago to guarantee transportation which, together with trade, brings progress to those areas of African countries which this river flows through. Alright, if you dare to get an adrenaline rush and sail across the longest rivers, now you know what they are. Tell me in the comments what river you would visit first, and don't forget to like my video and subscribe for more fascinating content.